Apart from oxygen, everything we need to live, we get through the gut, an environment for billions of bacteria that help process food and provide additional nutrients. It's also our first line of defence against disease and it's the largest immune system in the body. As a horse owner, it's in our best interest to make sure the gut is in top condition. And we can only achieve this by providing the correct feeds for it to function properly. If we don't feed correctly or there's some malfunction in the gut, we can come up against health problems such as equine gastric ulcer syndrome or EGUS. Ulceration of the stomach wall is due ultimately to stomach acid and it's said to occur in up to 90% of performance horses and 50% of foals and it's probably present in lower proportions in all classes of horse. Disrupted feeding, intense exercise and feeding the wrong type of feed from a physiological viewpoint can all cause ulceration. The horse is a natural grazer, constantly eating, chewing and swallowing. Because of this, the stomach is constantly producing acid to process the food. The lower half of the stomach is protected by a layer of mucus. But if there's nothing to soak up the acid and the animal is exercised, the acid will slosh into the upper half, causing burns which can develop into ulcers. Starchy feeds don't soak up the acid, but encourage those bacteria that use starch to produce more acids. The increased acid and bacteria in the stomach can then invade the stomach wall more easily if the mucus production is disrupted through any number of stressful situations and can develop into ulceration. Ulcers can only be confirmed by scoping, however there are some telltale signs. In foals, a poor coat and a pot-bellied appearance are both indicative. They may have enterogastric reflux when scoped. In adults, producing too much saliva and teeth grinding are fairly obvious signs, as is a poor appetite. Other symptoms, such as diarrhoea, colic and a poor performance could also be signs, but are also symptoms of other problems. Also, treatment of other conditions may aggravate ulcers. Non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs can suppress stomach mucus production and so weaken stomach linings. Ideally, we should be letting our horses graze all day with a constant supply of moist feed. Leafy material is ideal, which will soak up and neutralise stomach acid, as well as keeping the stomach environment at the right level of acidity. However, this is not realistic if we want to ride, train or compete. We may need to transport and so feeding time is reduced. We may not have continuous access to grazing, so we have to feed hay, cereal or hard feed, which are not as good at soaking up stomach acid. Ideally, we need to provide a feedstuff that can hold acid for a reasonable length of time or a feedstuff that may help reinforce the natural protection in the stomach. Research has shown that alfalfa can soak up plenty of acid as it has a high acid binding capacity, an effect that can last six hours, even when fed alongside hard feed. Pectin, the soluble fibre portion of beet pulp, also has good acid binding and can be released out of the fibre matrix by stomach acid and in the presence of an emulsifier can actually be incorporated into stomach mucus, reinforcing the protective lining. Fibre beet has all these components and so if fed throughout the day can help support natural stomach function even if feeding is not continuous.